how does your team design quality APIs? We know designing APIs is hard. It takes structure, consistency, collaboration, and often a patchwork of tools just to get the job done. Postman Specup is the best-in-class solution to author, govern, and publish high-quality API specifications all in one platform. Postman is much more than an API testing platform. Let's jump into how you can design quality APIs with Specup. For the sake of this demo, let's assume I'm a new backend developer on my team and I need to add a new functionality to our existing APIs. My team does API first and we use the design first approach. So we already have an open API definition and built out the API. Let's see how we can do this in Spec Hub. I'm collaborating with my colleagues and they've invited me to this workspace in Postman that I need to contribute to. To the left navigation menu here, you'd see the specs option. If you do not already see this option, click on the configure workspace sidebar and toggle it. Navigating to specs, I see the API definition that my team is already collaborating on. If you are starting from scratch, you can click the plus icon to either add an open API or an async API definition. Selecting the workspace API spec, I'm presented with two panes to the right, the API definition itself and a documentation for that API definition. This documentation was auto-generated from the API definition, which means I do not have to author it from scratch. Using the API definition itself, I can see that as I'm scrolling through the API definition, the documentation is being updated to the right, which means Spec Hub is context aware. This documentation also includes type information, which I find really helpful while parsing the documentation. To the left, you would see all the different parameters of my Open API specification: the servers, the tags, the paths, etc. This is really helpful as it helps me find my way around the API definition, regardless of how large it is. It also makes it easy for me to contribute to it without having to remember each property or parameter of OpenAPI spec. Here, I need to allow all users create a new workspace. We already have an operation that allows users get up workspaces. And to add the new operation, I need to click this plus icon and select the kind of operation I want, which is a post request in this case. This is already prefilled with a template for me, which makes it super easy, but I'm going to delete this template and paste one that I already prepared for this demo. This allows users to create a new workspace on this endpoint. On the request body and the response, you see references to multiple components. I can simply command and click to navigate to that component, wherever it is in my OpenAPI definition. And you'd see that the navigation also happens on the left pane here. Spec Hub also makes it very easy for you not to make mistakes while authoring your API definition with built-in linking and validation rules. For example, if at the top I forgot to define a title in my info object, I can see on this lower pane here that it's telling me that I have an error and I have one validation found in this definition. There are other kinds of validations that I could be making. For example, if I define the component and I'm not using that component, I should also see a relevance validation for that. Now that I'm done contributing to this API definition, let's go ahead and test. To test this, I do not need to go to a new tool. I only need to generate a collection from this API definition here. Generating a collection from an API definition has a lot of advantages. My team can collaborate on testing and integrating this API in a collection, and it's a great way to onboard new users, partners, or customers to our APIs. To generate a collection, I'll click this Generate Collection button. I'll give this collection a name, and I have other options that I can configure here as well. I'll click Generate this collection. This should only take a couple of seconds. I see the generated collection on the left navigation menu here, clicking on collection. Selecting this collection, I can see that it is properly structured into a folder. The new operation I added, which allows users to create a workspace, I can send this to see if I get any positive response. I get a 200 OK, and just for clarity, I had added the API key in an environment I had pre-configured. This generated collection includes type information. So if I go to the request body, you'd see that the body was auto-generated from the schema. 
and I can view that schema on the right pane here. If by adventure I was starting with the request body and I do not have a schema, I could auto generate the request body from the schema as well. The same also goes for query parameters. I could view type information for each query parameter. Here I could see that this is a string and their num values were automatically gotten from the API definition. I could also select specific formats for this specific query parameter. Collaborating on an API like this is an iterative process and we constantly make updates. So let's say I want to add a new operation to my workspaces endpoints. In this case, I'll be adding a put operation. If I save this, I do not need to generate an entirely new collection. Instead, I'll click on the lower carrot here and click on this update button. This should automatically update my collection with the updates I've made to my API definition. Navigating back to collections, I can see this put request that has been updated in my collection. This means I no longer have to regenerate the collection every time I make an API definition change, simply because I'm using the Postman spec hub. Now that all of this work is done, I could make this workspace a public workspace to share it with my customer, or it's already a team workspace, so my team have access to this and we can collaborate on it. Also, my team can go ahead and fuck this collection, make changes to it, and make a pull request to this collection, which makes collaboration also easier and seamless for us. In this brief demo, we learned how you can design and build high quality API specifications all in one single secure platform. So try it yourself, get started with Postman for free today.